I have a hundred great stories about being a guide in Alaska for 20 years. One of my favorites is actually getting to Alaska. When you're on your way to Alaska, people hear about it. A lot of people in Alaska, it's hard to get supplies. So they hear you're coming, they're going to ask you for something. So one day I'm in Portland and I get a call from my good buddy Cindy Adams. She goes, Tom, I really need something. I, my housewarming is this Saturday and I need you to bring something. I go, yeah, of course, Cindy, I'll get it. What do you need? She goes, I need a toilet seat. There's none in Haines, there's none in Skagway, there's a three-week wait for it in Juneau. I go, yeah, I'll get it for you, but I want to get the right one, so call it in. I've only got four hours before my flight. So I go to this hardware store, get it, but it's heavy. I take it out of the bag, it's still heavy. So I put it in my duffel bag and get to the airport, and I travel a lot, so I, I know weight. And I'm dragging my, my duffel bag through the airport, I'm going, my bag's overweight. So I'm waiting in line. By the time I get to the counter, I'm starting to laugh. The woman at the counter goes, may I help you? And I go, yeah. I says, I've got a funny story for you. She goes, really? I go, yeah, my bag's overweight. She goes, you think that's funny? And I said, no, it's funny. So I'm going to take out of my bag, wear around my neck as my carry-on so my bag isn't overweight. So I take the toilet seat out, start to put it over my head, and I go, TSA says anything at security. I'm going to say, this is what I'm doing about swine flu. What are you doing about it? The woman doesn't crack a smile. She just looks at me, toilet seat over my neck, looks at my bag, looks at my head looks at my bag and goes, 55 pounds is fine today, Mr. White. Have a good flight.